loves and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Chakesha Sims and I am back with a plan with me in my B6 Traveler's Notebook. So before I begin, if this is your first time watching my videos, make sure you go ahead and drop me a purple heart in the description box so that I know that you are new. You never know, you might get a shout out in my next video. All right, so this week I was I decided to use my Be Happy Box sticker book and I decided to use it because I got a special request from one of my subscribers asking me to use a Happy Planner sticker book in my B6 Traveler's Notebook instead of using my um, normal kits. So you know I'm always willing to oblige and because these colors are absolutely gorgeous in this particular sticker book, I figured it would be super easy um, and I can you know, plan outside of my regular planning style in my B6 and just free flow and do me. So I'm gonna use this and I probably will incorporate all of these washies. Um, now these three washies here actually came with the Be Happy box. Um, so I'll definitely be using these maybe as like some um, headers. Um, and then I got these from um, my Simply Gilded subscription box. Um, well not actually a subscription box, she did a collab with Teresa Collins and these were some of the washies that came along in that um, collab. So I'm going to be incorporating all of these because they match perfectly. Um, so if you want to see how this week's spread turns out for the week of September the 16th through the 26th, keep watching. All right, so I've already flipped to the page that has date covers and these date covers are a little um, wider than the actual boxes. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and trim them up. Now I could have just let them overlap, but I did want to um, have the spaces in between the boxes for the date covers. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just lay this one down and then I'm gonna skip um, through and get to um, the second page because it's pretty self-explanatory. Lay the sticker, use a ruler and cut. Um, the stickers are a little bit thick so you have to go a couple of times through, but you just wanna be really careful that you don't cut too deep so you cut through the page. But you do have to, um, normally if I have a thicker sticker, <laughs> that sounds funny, a thicker sticker, um, I just slice one, two, one, two and then they peel right up, um, but I do it extremely lightly. Um, and then again, I am using these um, tweezers from Luscious Labels. And I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all know I've been using my girl tweezers forever, but they may not be my primary tweezers that I use any longer, um, because these are perfect. They're so fine at the tip I can lift stickers, um, I can use them for teeny tiny stickers. Um, Y'all see because I have long nails, sometimes it's hard to maneuver with those and I like my long nails and I'm not gonna get rid of them so it's good to have some tools that will help you with lifting and laying stickers. Um, so now I'm using the thin washer that came in the Be Happy box and as I rolled it out, I realized that the colors changed. Um, so I don't know if that, um, is happened with everyone's stickers. I mean, with washi, but I was like, wait a minute, where did this yellow and this blue come from? Um, so maybe just throughout the washi strip, it just changes um, colors. Cause I know when I was laid the first strip on Saturday and Sunday, it was more pink, but you know, anyway. Um, so as you can see, I did have to go back and white out the top part. And I know you're probably like, well, why didn't you do that first? Because at first I was gonna use the darker washi, um, the one that says I am enough, but I was like, that's gonna be too much black and I wanted to break it up. Um, so I had to go through and just, you know, use my washi, but you know, it's no big deal. Um, Cause sometimes the plan change, once you start seeing things laid down on the actual spread, you change your mind. And that's all I did. And it was no harm, no foul. 
um, a little bit of a dig get on the um, date covers, but I just scraped it off and you can't even tell that it was there. Um, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is to start on my sidebar and I'm going to still kind of stick with the same format that I would do as if I had a kit um, using like a quote sticker as my first sticker um, and then just building downwards based on just how I flow. Um, now because this particular sticker book has no tracker stickers or um, um, y'all know I like to use my weekly box stickers so I can put my scriptures in but you know it again you have to adjust and do what you have to do and I already have a faith planner that has all of that stuff in there so I really don't have to put that in this spread but I just like to do it that's my preference um, but you know when you are planning and using kits or sticker books um, or just any kind of stickers and you don't have some of the things that you normally would use, you know, you just have to improvise. Um, and you have to decide, okay, what's more important? Do I wanna have my to-do things or do I wanna have, you know, other things that I know that are in another planner? And that's kinda how I do my rationale when I'm doing my spreads and I might not have, you know, a functional sticker that's going to um, work if I had a kit that had those specific things. Cause when I get my kits, I typically try to buy them in my, you know, with my mind state is like, okay, I know I'm gonna need trackers and I know I'm gonna need this and I know I'm gonna need that. So, but when I have those situations, like I said, I'll just be like, you know what? Well, I don't have to put this in this planner because I have another planner that houses that. So that's how I determine what's gonna go on my spread and what's not. So <laughs> now what I'm doing, like I said, I'm just building um, this sidebar. I've added a scallop header sticker from um, the Planning City. And again, I didn't want to bring in a lot of stickers um, outside of the um, sticker book. I wanted to just primarily use this one sticker book. So everything else that I brought in was just little things just to add the little pop that I would normally use. Um, for my scripts, um, because it doesn't come with the scripts that I use, I just use the scripts that I've already had. And you see that I did use the No Spin sticker that came from Scribble Sticker Co. And I think I forgot to mention that in my previous spread. So um, now just adding this washi. This washi was a lifesaver um, because again, I really didn't want to pull in a lot of stuff from a lot of different shops. So using this thin washi, which is, um, what is it, five millimeter, was perfect. Um, and I mean, it's just, this spread is just full of inspiration. If I don't get anything else done, I'm definitely gonna be inspired by looking at this spread because of all of the quotes um, that come along with this sticker book. Um, I really think that Happy Planner is really listening to us as consumers I know a lot of times, you know, we get on our social media platforms and we complain about these, you know, big um, corporate companies that don't listen to us, but they do. And, you know, by me being in business, I, you have to realize as well, you know, sometimes just because we want it now does not mean that they don't work on it. Um, and before I forget, I did cut this sticker. These stickers here are designed for your monthly view, but I really like that quote, kindness is magic. So I just cut that off um, inside the sticker book. And y'all know I love some boxes. These colorful boxes right here are so cute. Um, so now I'm just gonna add this washi for, um, again, just, uh, just a divider and to break that section up. So um, what I was saying as far as Happy Planner really listening, um, they're listening and they're watching. And as a business person, that's what we have to do. Um, a lot of times people wanna get mad and be like, oh, they stole my idea and they didn't give me any credit. At the end of the day, people know who originated certain things. Um, and my takeaway from that is if, if you have an original idea and you don't want nobody to take it copyright it but for me if I do something and I see another planner babe um, another sticker shop or corporate um, entity use my 
you know, techniques or ideas or something like that. You know, I ain't going to make no big deal about it. You know, I'm just going to be like, oh my gosh, they're watching. They're watching. And that's what is key when you are a um, business person, an entrepreneur. You got to watch the trends. You got to watch what people are doing. Um, you know, some of the shops that I PR for where I'm able to lodge my opinion, you know, I let them know, like, look, this is hot now. And even though it's a trend, it's going to be a long lasting trend. Some trends are very short lived. Others last a while. And, you know, I just try to, you know, do my part as a PR girl and, you know, let the shops know, like, look, if I see that they're not doing it, I'm like, look, this is trending. Get on this wave. Gotta get on this wave. You know, you don't want to miss it. Um, so anyway, I am going through and I am using these silver, I mean not silver, the gold um, washi strips. And because again, this not, is not made for a B, B6, um, I do have to do some trimming. Um, but for the most part, I did not have to do a lot of trimming with these stickers. I was so amazed how well they all fit um, in the spread. Now, I do want to apologize in advance. This video is a little bit longer than normal, but I did um, kind of ask a couple of you guys how did y'all felt about me having longer videos. And you guys said that you liked it. So, you know, if y'all want to spend a little extra time with me and my plan with me videos, I am here for it. Just know that I may take a lot more <laughs> pauses in between because me doing all this talking, on a 30 plus minute video is just going to be like, whew, I don't know. <laughs> um, so now I'm just, you know, like I said, I'm building my spread. Um, and I really try to do one day at a time because what ends up happening when I get off, um, when I get off and I start um, doing Monday and Friday, then Wednesday, then Tuesday, I get really, really sidetracked easily. Um, so I just try to, um, you know, I, I try to stay with a format and a plan when I'm laying my stickers. Um, so now I'm just trying to find a Coffee Monster Co. Emoti um, that's gonna match this color theme because y'all know I like to mark my Mondays with coffee. I do typically mark on the weekends too, but I don't think I did it in this week's spread. Um, so as I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be filling it with this little area for a little while. Um, the reason why I decided to do a happy planner spread, um, one of my subscribers asked if I could use some happy planner stickers in a B6 plant with me. And I was like, you know, sure I will. Um, and I just felt real led to do it this week. Um, and I want to give her a big shout out. I hope I say her um, YouTube name correctly, but it's the Pink T. That's P-Y-N-K-T. Um, so this spread is for you, girl. You asked and here you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm glad you suggested it because my reaction to this spread at the end of the video, you guys, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm a little extra. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so we're going to go ahead and continue to flip through. I think what made this video long, though, is because I did flip through this um, planner a lot. Now, I want y'all to look at this section right here in this sticker book. Um, look how some of these circles are cut in, you know, at the bottoms and they're flat. Again, Happy Planner is watching. A lot of us, when we're using our circle happy planner stickers, we cut the sides off or we cut the tops off or the bottoms because we wanted to make it look like it's popping out the stickers. They're watching, <laughs> they're watching. So FYI, if you got an idea and you know, you don't want nobody to steal it, make sure you put your name and your patent on there, okay? I'm not saying that they're stealing. Trust me, do not go back and be like Keisha out here spreading lies. I'm not, I'm just saying, you know, people get their panties in a bunch when another company blows up and get paid off of ideas that we put out there. Um, so don't get in your feelings. Don't get mad. Like for real, if you really don't want nobody to steal your ideas, get them patent, copyrighted, trademark, whatever you got to do. 
Um, other than that, take it as a um, compliment that these big companies and even smaller companies wants to use ideas that you know you've created through your spreads. Um, you know that's one thing about being an influencer. You know what we do as influencers and content creators is to really inspire other people to want to try different things. Um, so, you know, that's my um, soapbox moment and I'm gonna go ahead and get back down <laughs> and finish doing my spread, in which I think that's what I do best. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to move this sticker down. One, because I didn't want to have these emojis too close together. Um, again, y'all know I'm a big um, supporter of balance. Um, you know, I just didn't want I don't know, I just felt like it would've been too much to have both of them side by side. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and you know figure out what sticker to put up here. Um, and I really had a lot of fun setting up this spread. Um, like I said, most of the time I'm just flipping and flipping and flipping. And I probably could have edited all of that out and made this video shorter. But you know, I want y'all to see the real meat and potatoes behind a plan with me, you know. I don't care what anybody says, you can get your sticker books out, your kits out, and say this is how stuff gonna be. But if you are a true creator, a creative person, once you start laying your first couple of stickers, your mind gonna be like, oh no, I, gotta, I wanna do it different. I mean, and that's how I am as a hairstylist as well. Um, and before I get into that story, this sticker right here, oh my gosh, I am so excited. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Nikki Plus Three, she uses these stickers. And I'm like, one day I'm gonna order these. So they're from Panda Bird, Bird Sign. She's on Etsy. And these ones are custom. You can pick um, whether you want a brown girl or whatever. She does have um, other ones that are already um, just plain in color. She has four ones, but I wanted some brown girls. You know, I'm a brown girl. I want, you know, a little bit of representation of myself. <laughs> um, so, I forgot that fact. Oh, I was talking about a hairstyle. So, me as a hairstylist, like I tell my clients, you know, you know my work because my work is always similar. But it's very hard for me to duplicate a style because because I am creative and I'm not a memory type of stylist, your hairstyle is gonna come out based on how those first two or three curls come out when I'm using my, my, my tools. Um, so I tell them if y'all want that same exact style, take a picture and I'll try to recreate it as close as possible. And that's how I am as a planner as well. Y'all know I love my analogies. <laughs> um, I can say this is how my spread is gonna be, but then once I lay those first couple of stickers, I'm like, oh no, I wanna change it up. Um, so what you did not see in this section right here, I took this um, full box sticker and cut it in half because I didn't wanna use the whole thing. Um, because on Wednesday the 18th is my bonus son's birthday. He'll be 11, you guys. Oh my gosh, y'all know how much I love that little guy. Like, he not a little guy. We call him um, little man, you know, because he think a man, but he ain't grown yet. <laughs> um, so I was super excited to be able to start the spread of, well, this section off um, to highlight him. And I got these um, gold foiled happy birthday um stickers just in time from rose colored days um and i absolutely love them so i put the happy birthday with two um, of the balloons the floating balloons on the side and you'll see when i do my um writing in my plans where i write in his actual name for that birthday and he was with us all weekend so i was like i let him see um <laughs> what it looked like before he left and he's like oh cool so we'll see him on his birthday, so exciting. You know, we have a tradition that we do with him. And he was like, you know, Keisha, you know it's tradition. You gotta come get me, get the game, and we get a snack. And then I go back and celebrate with my mom. And I'm like, we ain't forget, we rocking with you in this tradition. <laughs> and I love it. I love the fact that 
as young as he is in this time frame, most kids his age, they don't care about traditions and creating memories like, you know, we used to when we were kids. Um, but he, he loves it. He's like, you know, it's tradition. It's tradition. So I like that. So when he has his kids, they will, you know, continue with the traditions that we um, have you know, done with him and he loves it. It's nothing that's forced. Um, and, you know, even though we, it's a two, you know, we have two different households, he gets so much love from both sides. And I think that's a blessing. When you co-parent, the biggest thing is making sure that kid is getting a balance of love on both sides. You know, I see so often where one household try to outdo the other and there's no competition. It's just like, just, love and pour into that kid it really really makes a difference because they can tell um so anyway let me get off of that soapbox and back to what i'm doing best at and that is this spread um so this sticker because i wanted to add some dark to this because the date covers are dark um i was going to put that there but it was a little bit too big and i didn't want to move anything um so i wanted to use some of these fun shapes um this almost looks like a, um, I don't know if you want to say an emerald cut or whatever, um, but I, I like um, how this sticker book had a lot of variety in sizes and shapes um, and different, um, just even though all the colors were the same, you know, black, this plush pink and gold. I mean, just every sticker, I just wanted to use the whole sticker book. I mean, if you want me to be honest. And these flowers right here, y'all know I had to put some flowers in this spread. I think that was another thing that motivated me to go ahead and just use this sticker book because these flowers are gorgeous. Um, so as you can see, I cut the flower in half. Um, and that little piece that was um, that I'm cutting right now that was hanging over, um, I just took it, trimmed it up, and added it to the um, side, of the end of this quote that's at the bottom. Uh, Cause you know, no sticker gets left behind with me. If it can be used, I'm using it. I'm trying not to throw anything away. Um, so then I'm gonna take some smaller flowers and add them over to the left side. Because again, say it with me, it's all about balance. <laughs> you can't put flowers on one side and not put them on the other side. Um, so now I'm just gonna put one at the top because at the latter part of the week, I really don't have a lot of plans so I can kind of play around with more decoration um, with this particular kit. Um, and here I am using the smaller flowers that I mentioned earlier. Um, but I'm able to have, I don't know. I, I, so this is where I'm at. I'm not gonna say I straddle the fence. I love a kit. I've fallen in love with kits. Um, but on one hand, I feel like kits stifles your creativity a little bit. Yeah, that box was way too big. <laughs> I feel like kits sometimes stifles your creativity a little bit. Um, but when you use your actual sticker books, um, it definitely forces you to be more creative and think outside of the box. Um, but, you know, both of them add their own you know, character to your spread. Um, so like I said, I mean, I will definitely, I'm definitely not getting rid of my kits for real, for real, but um, I definitely really enjoyed using this um, Be Happy sticker book um, and the washi that I have, um, that I got previously from a Teresa Collins and Simply Gilded collab along with the washi that came in the kit. I mean, I almost feel like it was a conspiracy. Did y'all know that Happy Plan was gonna have these same, same colors? No, I'm just joking. Um, anybody that knows Teresa Collin knows that these are her colors. This is her jam and I love it um, because, you know. So as you can see, I kind of trimmed up that washi to kind of fit in that little slant to give it a little bit of dimension because um, you know how your girl do. Um, and so now I'm just gonna just find a couple of little um, stickers here I'm gonna use this and let's go to this I know I'm all over the place but I didn't say nothing about on Tuesday with that to-do header like oh that wasn't laying down that was something that I did um, but anyway those to-do headers with that floral 
come through. Like, for real. Like, I'm as, as much as I wanted to use this whole sticker book, I really don't want to because the sticker book is just fire. Like, for real, for real, Stephanie, I know you looking, I know you watching, because that's what you do. And I ain't mad at you. But I'm going to need you to add this style of sticker book to your regular, you know, arsenal. Like, I'm going to need it to be more than seasonal. Um, so, anyway, back to the spread. <laughs> Um, so again, more shapes that I have not seen in anyone's sticker books. Um, I love these. Um, they look like pills to me, so I'm going to just call them pill shape. Um, I'm loving the pill shape, um, stickers that she has in this kit. Um, so then these, um, this washi right here is the washi that came with the Simply Gilded collab with Teresa Collins. Um, and I figured this would be perfect because I don't do too much on the last page of this insert just because, you know, I just use this area to write the things that I need to write. Um, and at first I was kind of like, man, I wish I would have used the same bottom washi that I used on the first two pages. But after I started working, I'm like, nope, this is perfect. You know, it doesn't have to always mirror the first two pages um, so because I wanted to try to again use only um, what was in this kit I decided instead of to put a th next week sticker I use this sticker that says the plan um, and it makes sense in my mind because these are the plans for next week <laughs> um, and then of course I just use this to do <clears throat> excuse me this to do header um, and I love the transparent stickers. Um, I really do. And I think I want to start practicing making me some kit, um, some scripts with some clear sticker paper. And y'all, look how perfect this sidebar sticker fits. I mean, it has a little bit of space at the bottom, but I don't care about that. But I mean, it fits perfectly. Like, did she make this to fit in the B6? What planner was this meant to, I mean, or was this meant to fit in the planner that came with the Be Happy box? I don't know. Um, because I don't know when or if I will use the planner. The cover is fire. I love the color of the, the cover. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to use the inside of it or not. Um, so now I'm just, you know, zhuzhing up the bottom. And I do know that I, I be struggling trying to stay in frame. The issue for real I'm gonna let you know my secret. The reason why sometimes I'm not in frames because my desk is so small <laughs> and the um, backdrop that I use only covers a certain circumference of the desk. So I try not to let you see too much. And then I have like this ledge at the top of my desk. Um, so if I zoom out too much, you're gonna see the ledge and then you're gonna see the sides. And I'm not OCD about a lot of stuff, but when it comes to the way my backdrop looks, I want it to be all co cohesive. So I don't want you to see the, cause I have like this brown faux wood color or whatever. So I don't want y'all to see that. So I have to keep my framing kind of tight. So that's why I get out of frame from time to time. But you know, I think you can pretty much tell what I'm doing when I'm out of frame. I'm doing something on the bottom, which normally is like washi. Um, so this is my weekend banner. I was going to do like the, um, the washi banner. Um, but then I decided against it because I wanted to pull in that black, um, sticker that I had pulled out earlier that I set to the side. Um, so now I'm just adding this, um, thin washi that came with the, um, box, the be happy box. And then this is that sticker that I was going to use. Um, on the other side and I decided to wait and use it here because I thought it would be perfect to use these gold um, leaves um, to come out on each side of them um, and as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and split it in half on the sticker paper it's easier to do it that way um, I mean you can pull it off and cut it um, but I just think it's easier to do it while it's on the actual um, 
sheet. That way, if you don't use both halves, you don't have to struggle by putting the other half on there. Um, and I just use my X-Acto knife and my Erin Condren ruler so I can get a precise cut. Um, so I am going to finish up and add a couple of other things. Um, I do need to work on the bottom part of this particular side. And I wanted to overlap on Saturday and Sunday one of the um, box stickers so I can indicate um, those are the days that I'm gonna film um, because I just felt like, again, I didn't have to use multiple stickers on that time. So I'm just using a little bit of this wash. And I didn't use a lot of wash this week um, only because I was uncertain how the stickers were, were gonna lay and I didn't wanna put the stickers down, pull it up, and then the washi be all sticking and stuff in which you really can't really tell too much. Um, you can't really see the lines through most of these stickers anyway. Um, so I put these two box stickers, like quarter box stickers on Saturday and Sunday to indicate um, a party and then to indicate planning time. And I'm gonna use this emoji sitting in front of a computer and the coffee um, for me filming. Um, and that script sticker I made myself. I'd be so proud of me. <laughs> Y'all look at these colors. Like I wanna use all the stickers. Happy Planet, can you please sell this book by itself? Um, so anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put another to-do sticker here because y'all know I, I like to use that as a running to-do list um, for that week. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and find some more stickers. I do need to go ahead and lay my date dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my voice rest. I'm gonna let you see me add the rest of these elements and add these date dots. Then I'm gonna write in my plans and then we're gonna wrap this video up. All right, love, so I am finished my spread in my B6 Traveler's Notebook in my four-page weekly from Jacinia Printables. And right now, I am mind blown. Like, I was not expecting for this spread to turn out this gorgeous, in my opinion. Um, one, I was kind of i um, not sure if the Happy Planner stickers would fit. I mean, they fit perfectly in the boxes. Um, very, very little overlapping. The only stickers that kind of overlapped were the um, quarter boxes. Um, and then some of the ones that were just a little bit smaller were the half boxes. But it was not by that much. And like I said, I am so shocked with myself like <laughs> I don't normally do sprays and I blow my own mind and I'm not a toot my own horn kind of girl but I love how this turned out this week like for real it got me ready to be like who want my kits psych <laughs> but no seriously like that this turned out so amazing and I am just so thankful that um, the suggestion was made I mean I might would have done it eventually but I probably wouldn't have done it anytime soon. Um, and I'm glad I did this. Like, I almost wish I would have saved this for next week for the Planet of Better Me retreat. Like, wow, I really like this. Um, yeah, so um, 
you know, I'm just gonna do a quick Lisa Mac shimmy so you can see all this nice foil goodness. Um, and I bought a few elements outside of the sticker book in here because I really wanted to use everything from that sticker book. Um, and I love it. I mean, just look at it. I mean, the shimmy is just the right amount of balance. Um, and I'm speechless. I'm not even gonna try to make myself say anything else because at this point, I would just be prolonging this video um, and in all with myself. Like, for real, I'm the most humblest person you probably could meet. <laughs> My friends fuss at me all the time, say, you need to take that compliment. Take it, sis. But for real, I pat myself on my back. Can you hear that? <laughs> so anyway, so I'm, I'm done. So if you like this spread as much as I like this spread, make sure you give me a big old thumbs up. And as well, drop me a comment below if you have any questions about anything that I used in this kit. Um, if you saw my flip through video, I wanna, um, I like to still leave the names of the shops in my description box, but I like the communication and I like the um, you know participation that I have when I don't put stuff in here. Y'all engage with me more by asking me more questions. Like I love all the hearts, I love the I love your spreads, but you know I want to engage with you also. Um, I probably won't leave the names of some of these shops that I used. Um, so if you want to know those shops drop me a comment so I can answer and have a little bit of conversation um, with you guys. Um, so as well, um, if you haven't already done so at this point, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will never miss any of my videos. Y'all, I'm gone. I've inspired myself. <laughs> so um, if this video has inspired you and got you all going ham eggs and bacon like i'm going do me a favor and share this with your planner friends so they can be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time loves peace